In 2019, statistics from the World Health Organization showed that globally, one in seven 10 to 19 year olds experiences a mental disorder. Among adolescents aged 10 to 19, emotional disorders such as anxiety and depression make up about 40% of mental disorders. These are followed by behavioral disorders at 20.1% and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder at 19.5%. The World Health Organization also estimates that suicide is the fourth leading cause of death for adolescent boys and girls aged 15 to 19. But Vivian Olga Kuda, a clinical psychologist, says mental health problems among children and young adults are very common, although the focus has always been on adult mental health. So usually with children it's uh, behavioral changes. It could be that a child who wasn't previously wetting their bed starts to wet their bed. It could be that they start getting clingy, so you're going to work but this five-year-old saying, I want to come with you, I want to come with you. As children continue to grow into teenagers, then you have uh, emerging cases of depression, you have cases of anxiety. Uh, it can lead to mental health problems, but it can also be used as a coping mechanism, uh, as a coping mechanism for many young people. Manifestations of mental health problems such as emotional disorders, behavioral disorders, eating disorders, psychosis, suicide and self-harm and risk-taking behaviors are usually signs of an underlying issue such as parental abuse, death of a loved one, poverty, changing school schedules and severe bullying. Some parents have marital issues, financial difficulties, all those um, children are observing, even if you don't tell them, they are seeing the changes, they are seeing the, the fights, the quarrels. So anything that falls within, that is consistent for two weeks, any behavior that deviates from the normal, let it be sleeping, eating, interacting with others, and then one has to question what's going on. Parenting styles are sometimes to blame. For instance, two to three generations ago, Parents were strict disciplinarians and children were submissive. Now, parenting swings between two extremes, authoritarian and laissez-faire parenting. The beating, the screaming, the abuses, the, ab uh, the verbal abuses, and all that surrounds it, the result of that, in most cases, is a traumatized child. Some of the symptoms of mental health problems may go unnoticed for a while. Derek Kizambuga, the executive director of Mental Health Uganda, says some children are not comfortable talking to their parents. One of the things that you have already lost is the trust. That probably the child does not have that trust or faith in you uh, to engage, to disclose how they feel or what kind of support probably they would need at that time. You could uh, probably uh, speak, ask someone to speak to them, especially someone you think they trust, and you trust them as well, or you could just seek professional help. Children and young adults are resilient by nature, but resilience is built with support. Sometimes this support can be as simple as a hug, a conversation, painting a bright future for them, or practical help with housework. Gillian Nantume, NTV. Weekend Edition.